Hello and welcome. Today I am here to talk about the magic third party content notice I received on one of my recent YouTube videos. I had an unboxing video which has been long pending upload. There was no voice in the video so I thought I will add some music to it before uploading. On searching I ended up at this website uh, www.danosongs.com by Dan O'Connor. This website provides music which can be used both for non-commercial and commercial videos. You can either use the music free by crediting appropriately or buy a track and use it if you do not want to credit. Free with the credit to music by Dan O at danosongs.com. This is what I wanted. Let us look at the license fact. Looking at the license fact, uh, I have three options to use. Uh, one is free with credit and uh, if I do not want to credit, I can buy each track separately at $10 or uh, I can, uh, third one is uh, I can buy the whole package. I wanted to use the first option uh, that is free with credit. Here is the list of tracks available. I selected Magic Ghost and downloaded it. After working for hours on the video, I finally uploaded the video with uh, due credit and with links to song and the license terms. But to my shock, as soon as the video upload is completed, completed uh, YouTube displayed the match third party content notice just besides the video. I'm, I'm yet to publish the video or monetize it. On clicking the link, I chose it was copyrighted in Deep We Trust Mona Lisa, sound recording administered by In Goose, and the sound matches from 1 minute 19 seconds. It says the video is uh, still available and playable, but I do not want any copyright notices, so I'll either delete, it, delete this video or uh, re-upload it with a different track or uh, without any music. Initially, I thought of disputing it because Dano provides this music as royalty free on his website and uh, I don't think he is using someone else's music in his compositions. I, I assumed YouTube system must have misidentified and so I dispute it. On googling for the identified track, it brings up a couple of results. Followed the first one in the results which happens to be beatport.com to check if the music I used really matched and yeah it did. In fact uh, it is not just similar it's exactly same to my ears. YouTube identified my video has matched from 1 minute 19 seconds so I checked it from there and it is actually a match. I'm not going to play any music in this video as I do not want to end up with another notice. In this website, uh, it shows this song belongs to Loco Records. Now there are three names, Ingros, which uh, YouTube identified. Loco Records as this website uh, displays. And Dan O from whom I use this song. As per Beatport, the release date is 27th November 2007 and uh, Dano Songs doesn't mention the dates but the website itself seems to have been registered in 2008. With due respect to everyone involved in their work, I do not know who is the creator and who is the owner or whatever. So I am leaving it here and, and uh, I am not taking it any further from here. Dino Songs provides uh, information in the fact on how to prove to YouTube and other sites that I have permission to use this music. But I do not want to spend my precious time in disputing and waiting for responses without knowing the out outcome. So I'll delete this video and re-upload uh, without music. 
but yeah even if you are using royalty free music in your videos there is no guarantee that you are not violating any copyrights just keep that in mind and uh, before using any music in your videos uh, do a thorough check i hope this video helps if you are considering using any royalty free music thanks for watching and have a great day bye